This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychetruth. Hi, it's Banks. Welcome to the Banks Method. Today, I've got a quick and effective lower abdominal workout. We're not only going to work the rectus abdominals on top, we're also going to work deeply into those transverse abdominals, our internal and external obliques. And I'm going to teach you how to do these exercises correctly so we target that hard to reach area, our low abdominals. So let's get started. The Banks Method is my unique combo of ballet, bar, and Pilates exercises designed to maximize lengthening and strengthening of the muscles with fun, dance-inspired movements. You can find all of my workouts on Amazon Prime Video and the Yoga Plus app. I get a lot of requests for low abdominals, but if there's another trouble spot that you would like for me to address, leave a comment below. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start laying down on our mats. And then let's find a nice neutral spine. So bring that rib cage down, big exhale, and then feel that whole spine pressing down on the mat. No pockets of air underneath that spine. So the core is nice and engaged. We'll bring both legs into a tabletop. The heels are together and the toes are apart. So we're in a diamond position here. We're gonna cross the right leg underneath the left, pressing that right leg up against the left one, and we're gonna take toe taps down. Tapping down, keeping that core control, exhaling to lift. So we take it down for two counts, lift it up for two, keeping that diamond position. So I like to imagine my leg is in a cast. I'm keeping my legs in that perfect 90 degree angle and just tapping that position down, just changing the angle from my thigh bone and my torso to fire up through those low abdominals right out of the gate. You feel low abdominal shaking. That breath is super important. Exhale to get into that deeper layer of your core. On the way up. Inhale to lower. Exhale lift. Trying to relax those shoulders down the back. Two more here, and then we're gonna add a little hip lift challenge. Good, now let's add that hip lift in. So we tap it down, we lift it up, we lift that sacrum one inch off the mat, and then we control it on the way down again. Tap it down, lift it up sacrum lift and lower, taking it in pieces here. Exhale and lower back down. So notice how my knees stay stacked right over my hips. All I'm doing is I'm lifting, tucking that tailbone towards the nose and controlling it. So that work is gonna be on the control on the way down. So you can always take this smaller range of motion here to keep that core control or great modification hands go behind the sacrum behind the edge of the glutes as you do this one. Gives your spine a little bit more support here. Good, just two more. Last one, now let's switch it over to the other side, left underneath the right. We tap and lift up on our exhale. Four more, three, and then we're gonna add that hip lift, two. Last one, let's add that hip lift. We lift it up down, tap the toes down, exhale, just four more sets and then we're done with our first set here in this diamond position, last three, last two, last one, awesome work you guys, hug those knees into the chest and we're going to make our way up to our forearms. So bring those forearms down, elbows right underneath the shoulders, and then we're gonna roll the pelvis towards us. So we find the waistband of the pants down towards the mat, scooping those abdominals in, and we'll bring each leg into a tabletop. Let's start with our bicycles here. So keeping that same position in the spine. Exhale as you bring that right leg, then left leg out. Toe goes alongside of the knee, stopping when the knee hits right over the hip. So for more of a challenge, we take it a little bit lower. If you lose that core control, just lift it up to the ceiling. It's still super challenging when it's up to the ceiling. You're just keeping that perfect form of the spine. Switching. So you inhale for a round. Exhale for a round. Get all the air out at once. Inhale. Exhale. Four more sets. Inhale. Exhale, last three. Can you take it a little bit lower? Exhale, last two. Exhale, last one. 
exhale, bring those legs back into a tabletop, plant the feet back down onto the mat. Now we're gonna go into a little bit of oblique work. If you're feeling your hip flexors talking to you during this one, you can do the same exercise laying down on the mat. Otherwise, we're gonna level up, bringing those forearms down. Re-tuck that tailbone under, bring those legs back into a tabletop, shoulders down the back, lock them into place. We tick tock the, we tick tock the knees over to the right side, press it out to 45 degrees, come back into tabletop, exhale to come center. Other side, pressing that bottom leg up against the top leg, so those inner thighs are super engaged. Our obliques are working. Make sure the knees don't come too far into the, into the chest. The knees stay stacked right over the hips. Last one like this, and then we're gonna add a little challenge here. Come back to tabletop. Now, we tick-tock over to that right side, press out to 45. We carve out the under half of a circle, and then we switch it to the other side. Exhaling, inhaling at the top. If this is too challenging, bring those legs into tabletop, same thing here. Good, just four more sets here. And then we're laying on our back, last three. We got two. Last one. Hug those knees in, roll all the way back. Awesome work, you guys. Lengthen those legs up to the ceiling. Hands go behind the glutes. We're gonna take hip lifts here. So same thing that we did before, except our legs are straight. Zipping up through those inner thighs, we lift on our exhale. Inhale, you lower it down. So a lot of the time, people like to go here. You're just using momentum, right? So no work is happening in those low abdominals. When you keep it small and controlled, you're gonna feel right below the belly button where we zip up those high-waisted jeans, contracting and releasing. Big exhale on the way up. If you have tight hamstrings, just take a soft bend into the knees, but still active through those inner thighs, active through the leg. Now we're gonna take it to tempo for 10 counts. It's up and up for eight. Last seven, keep exhaling. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna lower those legs down to 45 degrees. Make sure that spine is still pressing down on the mat. From here, you feel those low abdominals working. We're just gonna take it down and up, 45, and then down just about three inches. It's a small range of motion, but that work in the core is, there's a, <clears throat> it's a small range of motion, but there's a lot happening in the core because we're at 45 degrees, we feel that shake, and then we go past that another three inches. The abdominals are shaking the whole time. Good, you guys, give me four more sets here. Three, last two, and one, hold it to 45. Hands are still behind those glutes. We take hip lifts here. Exhale, inhale, lower. This is gonna be even smaller. So you can barely see the work that's going on, but I'm rolling my pelvis towards me, taking my sacrum, barely even an inch off the mat. It's okay if it doesn't come off. Good, last four here. Three, last two. And one, now we lower those legs down to our lowest point where you can keep that core control. Flex those feet, flutter kicks. Good, after this we got one more exercise, you guys. We're gonna finish with some mountain climbers. So you feel those quadriceps talking to you, your thighs talking to you, those low abdominals burning out here. Good, even smaller, take it even lower for 10. Nine, eight, seven, last six, five, four, three, two, one, awesome work you guys. Hug those knees into the chest and let's come all the way up for some mountain climbers to finish off. 30 seconds here, hands are right below the shoulders in that left leg, then the right leg back. Soft bend into the elbows, shift the weight into the toes. We bring the right knee in, then the left knee in. Notice how nothing is happening in my torso, no shifting of those hips. Keeping the torso parallel with the ground. Exhaling as you pull the knee in to really fire up through the low core. Almost there, you guys. If you want a little bit more, we take it double time. It's in and in, so keeping that perfect position with the spine. Final 10. Last nine, almost there. We got eight, seven. Stick with it, guys. Six, five, four, three, two, 
One, drop those shins down, take a child's pose. Reach those arms long, breathe into the low back. And then roll it on up. Great job, my abs are on fire. I hope yours are too, and I hope you enjoyed that workout. I also have a lot of other Banks Method videos where we focus on different muscle groups, total body workouts, and cardio workouts to help you really tone, sculpt, and burn more calories. Let me know what you thought of this workout and leave me a comment below if there's another trouble spot that you'd like for me to address. Have a great rest of your day and join me again soon. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration. You can find all of my workouts on Amazon Prime Video and the Yoga Plus app.